Traditionally, men and women have had separate poetic traditions and only men gain prestige and political power through their skill in poetry. As you know, Somali Sadr called it a nation of poets. Uh, poetry was the means of communication and it still remains to be the means of communication in Somalia. Uh, Somalis use it for everything. If Americans were uh, Somalis, the, pr the president's press secretary would be a poet. He wouldn't get up and talk to the press. He would, he would get up and sing goodbye. There should be a reason why the poem is conducted or should be conducted. So that's why whenever they feel pain or agony or suffering or those segments that I mentioned, that is when a poem will have a lasting meaning. Poetry occurs in all spheres of life. Even the government hires poets to praise its achievements and to point out its shortcomings. The most famous Somali poet is Sayyid Mohammed Abdullah Hassan, a national hero as a warrior and as a poet. As you know, I think Sayyid Mohammed can be described as the George Washington of Somali nationalism and the Shakespeare of the Somali language rolled into one. He used his poetry as a political weapon. It was a medium of communication like what they call uh, official bulletin. Somali women's poetry known as Burambu in the Somali language is performed at wedding ceremonies, community celebrations and holidays. In weddings, special poetry is performed where the bride, groom and their families are praised. Also, women's poetry is recited to bless newborns.